And while we're talking about the city of Portland, let's get to my next segment in the series I put together on our new upcoming form of government. Last night we covered the role of the new mayor. Tonight we're going to talk about the city administrator. That person is going to run the day to day operations of the city of Portland rather than commissioners, which is what we've been used to. But that administrator is not going to be doing it alone. They'll have deputies overseeing groups of bureaus. Here's how it will work. Under Portland's new system of government, the city administrator will be large and in charge. They'll be appointed for an indefinite term by the mayor, and they must be confirmed by a vote of the city council. The mayor can also fire the administrator. The city council can also fire the administrator if a supermajority, nine of the 12 council members, vote to toss the administrator out. So that might be an interesting political balancing act if the mayor wants the administrator to do something and the council wants them to not do it. But overall, they will, with their team of deputies, pull the levers that will make Portland city government work. They will execute the plans to reach the goals that the mayor and the council want for the city of Portland. Shoshana Oppenheim is the project manager in charge of the city's massive transition to this new form of government. She has studied the various roles. The city administrator has chartered responsibilities. So outlined in the charter are the, the role of the city administrator to manage the day-to-day -day operations, to support the mayor in their um, executive duties. But I think that based on what we were talking about earlier, the, the city administrator has to look both to city council and their policy priorities to uh, community constituents, as well as to the mayor to um, ensure that they're, uh, they're working and uh, advancing the mayor's priorities. And I know Mike Jordan has told me that it will be a very difficult job. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. Guaranteed. It's a very challenging uh, job. The administrator's job is a massive one. They're the boss to most of the people working in the city. They'll be in charge of the assistant city administrator, who will oversee communications, community and civic life, council operations, office of government relations, and Portland solutions. The city administrator will also be in charge of Portland's equity officer, and through them, the office of equity and human rights, and the sustainability officer. And on top of that, the administrator will also be in charge of six deputy city administrators who will oversee a total of 33 city offices and bureaus with a combined total of thousands of city workers. Portland's new charter, that's basically the rules of how the government works, gives the administrator the power to hire and fire bureau directors and pretty much every other employee in the city. They will also control and administer the financial affairs of the city, including preparing an annual budget with the help of the budget director. Mike Jordan is Portland's interim city administrator. Mayor Ted Wheeler has turned over nearly all the city bureaus to Jordan and his team of deputy city administrators. Jordan has said that in January, when the new government takes effect, he will not be Portland's permanent city administrator, but he wouldn't mind staying on for a year to help the new administrator, whomever that might be.